I guess the question is a little bit odd. So, because the thing is that the internet of things is about the world in which there are all these tiny little devices that are connected to the internet. And so many of them are self-hosting. You go connect directly to the device and it tells you what the device is measuring or doing. The question is, is the device phoning home someplace to send data to a centralized com collection place? Well, if the device phones home to a, a website, a domain name that's being hosted on Holoports, well then sure, the Holoport is gonna be hosting internet of things. Um, so absolutely, yes. Um, and also because Holoports, you'll be able to join in your own Holochain applications, not just but this is not really, so it depends on what you mean by hosting. But as a user, you'll be able to join your own personal Hologene applications. And some of those might be Internet of Things applications where your local stuff on your home is sending directly to your own Holoport. So in that way, it's, whole, it's hosting your own things. It's not hosting it on behalf of other people unless somebody created an app to do that. Um, but so the answer is yes, but it's, a, as you might think, the answer is a little more complicated. I would say that one of the earliest adopters of Holochain is Redgrid, and they are building Internet of Things technology for um, energy company, for, for energy production and devices that measure energy and manage stuff. And they're, a, they're a, an early adopter of Holochain. Um, I mean, exactly how they will connect with Holoports to be true to the question, I'm not 100% sure of, but we have a lot of interest in the Internet of Things. And we've got scholarly papers that have even been written about Holochain and the Internet of Things is a really good use case because of data security and data um, uh, that you don't want data centralized the way it gets done right now.